Hey Mike, hello, I'm Mr. Wallace. Sorry. Hey Mike, hello, I'm Mr. Wallace. And I'm here to talk to you about your options for your Titan 11 GCC. Obviously I'm here to talk about resistant materials, which involves working with metal, wood, plastic, and tools, and machinery. Now, the course entails two years. The first year will prepare you for your controlled assessment task which will take place in year 11. Now controlled assessment task means that all the work will be kept on school premises, it will be locked away in the lock and key, and it will only be taken out during the lessons where you'll be working under time conditions. Now that sounds very, very scary, that you're only able to produce work in the lessons. All the work that you can you produce in preparation for the lesson can be brought into the lessons and used as part of the controlled assessment task. So you're probably wondering, right, Mr. Wallace, what on earth do we do then throughout the whole of year 10? Now all we do in year 10 is prepare you for this controlled assessment task. We work through four different practical activities where you'll be producing a small ID tag made out of aluminium, where you'll be using the metal cutting tools, and you'll also be making a key holder or a merc holder, where we'll be covering the timber aspect. And then we'll be using a pic we'll be making a picture frame, which we'll be making out of acrylic. And then finally, we will combine all three um, materials, and then we'll produce another product of our own choice. Now, all these tools and processes that we'll be using throughout the year will be used in year 11. So therefore, everything that you do in year 10 you're going to be developing your skills. Now one of the first tools that we're going to be using are a pillar drill, used for drilling holes, a bandsaw, used for cutting timber, a sander, used for sanding timber, a milling machine, used to produce grooves, a lathe, used for turning timber, a mortiser, used for producing mortise holes, laser cutter, used for cutting plastics, the vacuum former, used for moulding plastics and CNC machines used for shaping material. The resistant materials course consists of two areas. Obviously your controlled assessment task which will be taking place in year 11 but also you'll have a two hour examination. It's a one tier examination where all the preparation is done throughout year 10. We will have visual activities done at the end of every double lesson and you'll also be given a coursework worksheet which will prepare you for the questions that will be used in the examination. Now where can this lead to? Now if, obviously if you're taking my lesson, you'll enjoy it, you'll have fun, but also it's going to lead to your future. What do you want to do in the future? Now obviously you can go on to A level, this course will actually uh, take you towards courses such as architecture, engineering, um, teaching obviously, um, but if anybody needs any more information regarding the course, the structure, what uh, courses it can lead you to, please come and see me, Mr. Wallace, in DT.